All right. Next up at UFC Vegas 67, we have Mateus Medanka taking on Javid Bashrat. Uh, both, uh, both are undefeated fighters. Bashrat definitely has fought the better level of competition, whereas uh, Medanka is making his UFC debut. This line is rather interesting. I thought it seemed a little high, but, you know, the market's moving it out. Uh, Basharat has opened at minus 260, has been bet out to minus 410, and you can still find him around minus 350 on some books. I mean, poof, it feels a little stretched to me because, look, Basharat's he's a good, well-rounded fighter. He's good defensively, um, and those are important, you know, things. He can do everything well, but nothing stands out as super flashy or, like, super good in one area. And, you know, Madonka, he does come with some flashy power. So what are the judges going to see if they're trading on the feet? I'm not really sure. But, yeah, I don't know. That one felt a little bit high to me. Uh, how do you feel about this fight, Mace? How do you see it going? I'm actually really excited for this one. A nice little two undefeated fighters yeah. as a little treat to start off the MMA year. Uh, personally, pretty big Basharat fan just separate of this fight. I think he's a very good fighter. Uh, his wins against Jones and Tony Gravely, I think were very good wins, uh, clear decision victories for his two UFC fights. Mm -hmm. Not a lot more you could want out of that. Uh, during some of his regional scene, he caught a Darce choke. I can't think of the guy's name. It's a mouthful and a half to try to pronounce too, but caught a Darce on a high level guy. Uh, just, like everything you can see char uh mendonka though he's good he uh another shooter box guy he he had a win against no Bray that was probably his best victory when you were watching it back um and you were talking about that explosive power does come a bit with the cost i've seen his cardio drop off definitely later on where i think basharat could definitely take advantage of that but he loses his cardio because he's coming like a bat out of hell. And like, he's just hot and heavy early, a uh, young kid too. So he might've learned how to do better with that just with age and experience, but yeah, very excited for this one. I think this is a great fight. Kind of hate the line at around like minus three fifty, though. I would have liked it a little bit lower because I do think, you know, overall Bashrat is, you know, a superior fighter. But yeah, at that price tag, I'm not like super excited about it. So, but I guess, you know, bash route or pass and uh, the lines aren't open yet, but maybe, you know, if you're looking to get a little D-Gen sprinkle, that round three finish, like you said, Madonka might gas himself out. That could lead to some problemos. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Big time. And unfortunately, we don't have a lineup yet. We're super early with our first podcast of the year. Normally, we'll try to be out, let's say, about uh, by Tuesday, the week of. We'll try, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. 